Maybe it's time we all stop trying to outsmart the truth and let it have its day. There's a reason why I made that video and I named it that title because the evidence that supports this video is pretty damning in this video because Xbots don't use logic, they use emotion, they get ass hurt real easily, they don't do research, and they say a lot of idiotic, stupid nonsense. With this particular idiot, this buffoon, this raging, idiotic lunatic right here, he tries to say Sony is the bad guy because they make you pay for a subscription fee to play PS3 games when you have the option to pay to play PS3 games. But his logic is so far delusional, so stupid that he's trying to say that the PS3 was shit. What if I bought the PS4? I want to play PS3 games. So you're going to buy a PS3, a PS4, excuse me, for to play PS3 games. When you could easily just buy a PS3 for a lot cheaper and buy those PS3 games for a lot cheaper. But you said they were shit, so why would you even want to play it in the first place? Idiotic logic, stupid thought process. Uh, stupid thought process. And he goes on to say that Sony has everything behind a paywall. He says buying a game, buying remastered remaster games is a paywall. I didn't know buying games is a paywall now. I thought when you buy something, you own it. The only thing that's a paywall that would have helped this argument in that case was just to say you have to pay for online. Instead of saying buying a remastered is a paywall. That is stupid and idiotic. And then he tries to lie and say that I, when I didn't have gold, I didn't have any issues of playing any apps. When I clearly sent him this link, this article saying, showing that Microsoft removed all that, that it had everything behind the paywall. But he still wants to be delusional. He still is in this idiotic thought process because he's getting owned so much. So he keeps digging himself further and further into a hole of obscurity and idiocy. If something is factual, you cannot argue it. Like this moron tries to say, you're damage controlling. I can't damage control when the PS4 has won 14 months to two. That is facts. I have the links in the description in that particular video. But, you know, the idiot before I showed you in the video like to say Sony is the bad guy. The Sony does everything right? No. Did they mess up with the PS3's pricing when it first came out? Yes. But they didn't do anything to damage gaming the way Microsoft is trying to damage gaming. And also these idiots like to say the PS4 has no games. What are you seeing right now? Exclusives. But their whole argument is not AAA. Nobody cares about those games. Because you don't like those games doesn't mean other people don't like those games. Because the PS4 has a diverse gaming ecosystem. It's not like the Xbox One where you have a certain cash cow that you milk over, Halo, Gears, that you milk over, over and over and over again, Forza. Because that's all you want to give to the community. I mean, to your uh, fan base. Over here, you saw all types of diverse gaming right here in this in this little quick uh, shot that I'm showing you. Games people have been wanting for a long time. They're getting it. The PS4 is a gaming console. And a media console, but primarily, it's a gaming console. First. Media, second. Microsoft, media first. Gaming takes a backseat. And we have to take Fable off this list because it got canceled. And you also have frauds in this gaming community that want to act like they're the good guy. They're trying to put on this fake facade of, oh, I'm cool. You want to ambush people 
and try to build your channel because you have no creativity. You want to lie and say nobody got into this chat and when the evidence is right there. When you had a whole, your whole crew in there. Going against one guy, you need uh, five other people to debate one person. All you're trying to do is get other YouTubers that are established, use their name to pump up your channel because you have no creativity. You don't know how to even come up and start your channel. You want to just use other people's names and ambush them, you know, try to get them in a chat, record their voice, and then do this 180 and act like you're the cool guy. Like, I'm cool. You can't do stuff like that. Especially when you're gaming, you know, you claim to be a gamer and your gaming seems pretty limited to me. I'm not making this up. I'm showing the facts. It seems like you like to just play shooters, but yet you want to come in the chat and tell me, yeah, I play all these other games and all that. But when I'm going through your trophy list, there's a lot of empty slots that I see. And you got the Vita, but you barely played it. I didn't have the Vita. That's why I didn't have a slot for the PS Vita. Don't really handheld game anymore. I haven't done it since, you know, you know, Game Boy Color. This is the evidence. This is how you get expose somebody. This is how you come at them meticulously. This is how you do your research. You don't try to ambush people in chats or not even ambush. You try to come off in a chat and then you do a completely different thing and you're talking about fanboys and uh you know people being sheep and but yet you want to applaud a liar next gen 720 who lies to the community spreads misinformation does nothing but constantly lie but you like him better or you support him more because he has all the consoles but yet he dog shits one console, but why would you buy it if it's dog shit? I don't need to have an Xbox One to know about it. It's called do your due diligence. Do your research. Know about the tech behind the product. Does the company that makes the product support your needs as a gamer? Does it look out for your best interests? Does it have freedom? Does it try to make sure that it's controlling your gaming? No. But yet, this is the guy you support that supports that system with its bad business practices. Because you don't use your brain. You're just trying to get views and try to build your channel because you're not using this, your head. You're trying to expose me, but what are you exposing? Because I turned off my voice allower and let you look stupid? People can go to that video and listen to how stupid you sound. Games are too scripted. You're talking about Nintendo lets you, you know, be scripted and whatnot, but yet it's a 2D, the, the game's a 2D side scroller and you got to jump to point A to point B. That's as scripted as it gets. Every game is scripted. It's about how much, you know, verticality and how much, the, you know, things you get to do within the script that they give you. That's not a knock on Nintendo, but I, I bet you he will perceive it as it is. You, you're a fraud, bro, and that's that's the main thing. If you're going to build your channel, do it the right way. Be creative, be talented. We don't need more robots and fraudulent people like you and your boy Resurrection. You're not even a fanboys, man. You're just some cancer to the gaming community. The truth hurts because this was truthful. Everything I showed was factual. Deal with that. PlayStation.